So it's been about three years since I have been in that house. Actually, maybe more. I didn't stay there for long. I was only there, I want to say, a couple of months. Honestly, I don't know a lot about the house. I do remember the first time that my brother told me about any of this stuff, though. It was 2019, and I was living in Phoenix at the time. And he had been staying in this new house with his new girlfriend. And I remember him telling me that it was really creepy there. He said it was out in the middle of the desert, and we described it as the Courage the Cowardly Dog house. And one of the first things he told me was about this figure. Do you remember the first thing that you experienced in the house? Yeah. When, uh, when I first visited Brianna, like when we were like barely starting dating, I was just sitting on the floor, like, you know, leaning up against the couch in the living room. And, um, like... He said he saw a man standing in Brianna's bedroom, looking at him. And I see, like, the silhouette of, like, a man kind of, like, peek out from behind the door and, like, look at me. You know, like, I just kind of wave, like, hello. You know, like, thinking that, it, you know, it was probably, like, her grandpa. I don't know, so her dad, I don't know, I have no idea. She was putting Evie, Evie to bed. Like, I didn't, I didn't even mention anything to her or whatever. Because I just, I, you know, we just started, like, seeing each other. So I didn't think it was my place to have, like, who's the old guy living with you or whatever. Like, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to ask anything like that. I just assumed that somebody lived with her, right? At the time, this was just all stories. May 28th. Uh, I just heard a loud thump. Really loud. I had no idea that I would ever visit this house, honestly. I also remember my brother would tell us about these things that would happen whenever they would. The second time was the voices. But of course the voices, we'll get into that way later. So he had said he saw this man who kind of was staring at him from the other room. And when he confronted Brianna about it, she had to come clean. I was like, I was kind of curious. I was like, I was like, oh, you know, I, I said something like, like, uh, does your dad live with you or your grandpa? And he's like, no, why? A couple weeks later, we're living together. Right, cause, and I asked you about, like, who you had over that night. And you were like, there was nobody here. I don't think we were living together yet. I just we visited. That, yeah. Right? Yeah. And I was like, the, you know, who was that that guy? Like, you know, was it your grandpa or something? And that's when you're like, oh, okay, like. That's when I was like, do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you can't just come out and say that stuff because then people <laughs> think you're crazy. But then you were like, yeah, I do. I was like, 
Oh, thank goodness. All right. So here's the deal. <laughs> I got an old man and a little girl <laughs> in my house. Like, and she was kind of like hesitant to like tell me, you know, because she didn't know if I like believed in ghosts or not, you know, uh -huh. at the time. And she's like, oh, it's like this apparition of a of an old man that is here for some reason. And I was like, really? And, uh, and then she was like, there's also a little girl here, like a little blonde girl, you know, also. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, I, I hadn't seen a little girl like, until months later. Like, we already, I had moved in, right? So I didn't, like, we were really seeing a little girl uh, until, like, probably, like, a, a few months later. And I thought I saw another quarter of my eye running back to her room. And I was like, come clean, come pick up your toys. Yeah. And... The little girl just kept running. But uh, Evie was a lot like smaller at the time. Like so, um, Evie was like two, so she's like very small, right? Like a small child. And this uh, child that I saw was like, I would say probably like seven. You know what I'm saying? Seven or eight. You know, like that that tall. You know what I'm saying? Like that yeah. that approximate age. I literally saw, not even like, like, it was like plain as day, and I was like, Evie, Evie, like, you know, I was like, but I only saw the top of her head, like, like, um, walking away. <laughs> and I thought it was weird because it was a, like, she seemed taller to me, and I was like, and it was like, I'm right here, Dad. And she like had her toys and I was like, go put them away. Just don't put them away. <laughs> and I was like, I don't even know if we have time to get into the, the voices. That was the scariest oh, yeah. thing. The voices sure. are definitely the creepiest one. Like definitely the old man and the little girl don't give me like the no. chills or nothing, but the voices, I don't think it's them and it gives me the creeps. Cause it's, you can feel it's like an ominous, like yeah. bad feeling. It's a here. dark feeling. It's like, it's scary. Like, like you had to be a tall man, a tall something to be able to, to project your, like, it was like somebody was right up pressed against her window, talking in this weird, disembodied gibberish. 